Chapter 33 of Bazaar by Lawton McCall. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Nick Bulka. Those Symphony Concert Programs. Metropolitan Symphony Orchestra. Otto Kulmbacher, Conductor. Felice Elephantine, Soloist of the Evening. 1. Gastronomic Symphony. Kovic Bordenoff. A. Allegretti. B. Pistachio. C. Chianti. D. Risotto con aglio. 2. Larghetto. Kolmbacher. 3. Aria from Il Campanile. Gondola. Signorita Elephantine. The hardwood piano is used. Critical comments on the numbers. 1. Gastronomic Symphony. It is not certain when Pieter Kovic Bordenoff was born. His parents, being thrifty peasants, put him in a basket and left him on the steps of Russia. Adopted by a Russian princess named Caviar Vodka, he was raised as if he had been her own dog. His early musical inclination was so pronounced that he was sent to Warsaw Conservatory, where he served three terms. Soon after being released from this institution, he wrote Samovar, the opera that made him famous. Samovar so pleased the Tsar that young Bordenoff was given a pension and a bath. But alas! Either his sudden success, or the bath, so affected his mind that from that time on the authorities were obliged to keep him in confinement. The above symphony was written on the walls of his cell, from which it was transcribed after his suicide. It depicts the blight of all his hopes, the sorrows of Russia, the drowning of his fiancée, the height of the steppes, and the agonies of indigestion. The Allegretti opens with an arabesque tone poem of somber sweetness, under which strange and varied delights are hidden. Then comes the minor pistachio, weirdly oriental in color. This is followed by the tempestuous and maddening Chianti. Last of all comes the terrible risotto con aglio. Here we have an example of the insight of genius. By itself, the risotto con aglio would be almost mild, but coming as it does on top of the allegretti, the pistachio, and the chianti, it is bound to produce a fairly tragic finale. 2. Larghetto. This etude is by the conductor. He thought this would be a good place to work it in the orchestra and audience being powerless to restrain him. Herr Otto Feder Ivan Kumbacher was born of noble parents in Hofbrau, Silesia. He was discovered and imported to America by the brilliant patronesses of the Metropolitan Symphony Society. A larghetto is a little largo, one without handle. A composer writes a larghetto, when he feels something like writing a Largo, but isn't, on the whole, quite up to it. 3. Aria from Il Campanile This opera, though well known in Budapest and South America, is practically unknown in the United States. The aria, O Belli Spaghetti, is so vocally exacting that to sing its bird-like notes, a prima donna should die it for weeks on bird's eat. Here are the words, which are repeated fourteen times in the course of the aria. The Italian and the translation. O belli spaghetti, had I the wings of a dove, O bianchi confetti, I would fly, I would fly to my love. Banin, banini, I would fly, I would fly. E tutti frutti, through the sky, through the sky. 
O Bianchi Confetti, I would fly, I would fly to my love. She waddles off. End of chapter 33